Hey guys, Meteor Ronald, Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather, and I'll take you to where it's snowing right now and where it's going to snow for the rest of the day. Um, heavy snow falling there at uh, Solitude. You can see a lot of people skiing today. Snow still coming down. Let me show you the report out of uh, Solitude. Storm total so far of about 30 inches, 14 last 24 hours. You're probably going to add another 6 to 12 to that today for the remainder of today and tonight. So looking at uh, potentially a grand total of, I don't know, roughly 40 inches out of this storm cycle up there. Um, let me take you into parts of Colorado. Loveland Ski Area, top the Continental Divide, brutal today. Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, looking at 30 to 80 mile an hour gusts all day with single digit air temps above tree line. This is the case all the way across the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Extremely difficult drive getting in there on I-70 today. Take you north up into Steamboat. 20 inch storm total. Again, you'll probably add another 8 to 10. So looking at about a 30 inch storm total out uh, in, up in Steamboat, northern mountains. This is a really disappointing story here out of Aspen and uh, Snowmass and Aspen Highlands, Buttermilk. Um, you're just out of the flow. Um, the jet's just a little, you're just out of it, but it's only a matter of miles. Um, it's snowing north, and it's definitely snowing east over in Vail, but in this area, um, and it's definitely windy. I just don't think you're going to see the big totals that I was advertising. Um, it's still good, still good skiing, but uh, I think you could add another three to six inches, and that's probably going to do it in Aspen and Snowmass. One more stop, Vail. Snowing very hard here. You're going to add another 10. And a lot of wind, and it is cold up there. All right, over to my bullet points. Let me show you what I'm seeing here. Heavy snow today, central to northern mountains of Colorado and Utah all the way through tonight. Wyoming, uh, kind of one of those stories. I don't think you're going to meet the big totals I was talking about. You probably add another four inches in most places. Um, through Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. Northeast, looking at a storm system tonight into tomorrow. I'll show you what I'm thinking with my map coming up on that. And then looking down the road, the flow's a little faster. I talked about this with my update yesterday afternoon. Now, a little more progressive, we'll probably add two storm systems, 12.7 through 12.9 and 12.10 and 11. Let me take you back here and show you the, uh, the water vapor satellite imagery. Um, first off, the storm for the northeast is right here and it's it's developing and we'll move up there all right now we still have this rich atmospheric river flow here in west northwest bend bringing all that down like a conveyor belt you can see the next wave coming in so your whites and blues are your moisture aloft being transported another wave behind it so those two storm systems are impact, going to impact the pacific northwest and bc with a lot of moisture and pieces of that will then break off let me show you how this plays out. Forecast radar and satellite. So by this afternoon, there it is, snowing. By tomorrow morning, less snow. And just lingering residual snow in the central and northern mountains of Colorado and up in the Tetons. That's the case through most of the day. And then it wanes. It's gone. Now we have to look to the Pacific Northwest and BC for our next storm system. It takes its time. It takes a few days to load up and then break loose. But by the time we get into 12-7, watch. Here it comes. Snow for the Wasatch, the Tetons, Idaho, Montana. And then it works its way down towards Colorado, late 12-7 and throughout the day on 12-8. This is 12-8 in the morning, looking at snow across most of the Intermountain West. And by the time we get into late 12-8, it's still moving through Colorado and the Tetons and the Wasatch. So that's potentially what's next. 12-7, 12-8, 12-9. All right, let me take you to the jet stream forecast and show you this. So today, um, you know what's happening. By 12-7, a little progressive, so whatever's coming in from the west gets moved quickly through Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado, and that's what we're going to see. Um, here's 12-9. Storm system has moved away. Now we're waiting on the next one, which will ride that fast jet in. And by the time we get in 12-12, there might be a low that's trying to cut off in California. You can see the big dip in the jet. Numbers wise, here's what snow I think is is going to fall for the rest of today. It's happening now. Additional snow accumulation, potentially another foot through a little cottonwood, 6 to 12 big cottonwood less, Park City Deer Valley in Colorado. Again that story around snow mass, maybe another 3 to 6. Um, the bigger snow is around Vail, Steamboat, Loveland, Summit County, that, that flow kind of shifts into that area, that, that jet streak shifts into that area. Um, and a little bit left over in Idaho, in Montana, potentially a foot for Whistler Blackhome. 
Here's the quiet period waiting on it, 5 and 6, storm would drop in, and by the time we get into 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, two storm systems could potentially lay down these kinds of numbers, um, 8 to 12 for the Wasatch, uh, 8 to 12 for the Tetons and Big Sky, and potentially 4 to 12 for parts of Colorado. Um, you can see the numbers for the Pacific Northwest, they're very good, 1 to 2 feet in a couple of spots, and then some of that would blow into the interior parts of BC as well. So I like what I'm seeing there. Um, here is the Northeast, my update. Again, most of this snow comes in tonight and tomorrow, probably about a 6 to 10 inch snowfall for Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, and look at Snow Ridge. So I put Snow Ridge over there. Um, that's, a, that's a ski area. Just it gets a lot of that lake effect coming off of Ontario. Um, there is another storm system way down the road but it looks like it could be a little bit too warm. I'll keep an eye on that. I haven't added anything from that. This is purely and mostly from um, the storm tonight into tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.